As she voted in 2020's election, it would have been hard for Aung San Suu Kyi to predict her greatest political success would lead to her downfall. Since last year's coup in Myanmar, she's been detained in isolation, only appearing in court to face charges that may lead to years in prison. What is Nonetheless, senior members of her party believe she still has a major role to play. She will have to do more and more for democracy and for Burma. Yeah, I'm now approaching 58. She is 76, but she is much healthier than me. But the events of the past year have shown that Aung San Suu Kyi's policy of engaging the military didn't work. She even went so far as to defend the army's violent crackdown against the Rohingya that lost her many supporters on the global stage. While that didn't tarnish her reputation at home, it also failed to stop the generals seizing control. The majority of the people understand that, you know, Aung San Suu Kyi was trying a, a compromise solution, a compromise approach. She went as far as appeasing the military in power. Uh, but, of course, that failed. It's very hard to get a sense of public opinion inside Myanmar with the military arresting people for their political beliefs. But here in the Thai border town of Mesod, there's a large exiled community and a variety of opinions about the woman, simply known as the lady. I want Aung San Suu Kyi to be released so that things can change. I want new people to take over these positions because she is too old, and those people should be young, like us. Protesters continue to take to the streets, risking their lives to oppose military rule and calling for a new Myanmar, freed from the constraints of the past. All of this is happening without Aung San Suu Kyi. If or when she is released, she may find herself in a much diminished role. Tony Cheng, Al Jazeera on the Thai-Myanmar border.